I'm very honored and humbled to receive the Jean Priester Award in Leadership. Um, Jean was a mentor of mine, so it makes it all the more special to receive award in leadership when you actually know the giver. Uh, I met Jean, where I really met Jean, uh, was in 1991. And uh, there were five of us that went to Washington to receive an award. And she had this great big old car. And so we were all there in our suits and our hose. You know, we dressed at the time, nice shoes and everything, none of this casual stuff. And we all piled in her car. So there were six of us all dressed to the nines in her car. And she took us all around for the next three days. So that was my first real introduction to Jean Priester. She was very visionary. She was very visionary. She was a uh, with the cooperative extension system at the national level. So what's interesting, though, is that the FNEP program, the Expanded Food and Nutrition Education program, which is still here in 50 years later in Alabama, uh, Jean Priester was one of the pilot people that started that program more than 50 years ago. I, th I think a leader needs to be visionary. I think they have to be able to look into their crystal ball and be able to see beyond and really identify issues that can be, that can be tackled through the cooperative extension system. Um, and a lot of people can't do that. You know, people can lead, but sometimes they're not visionary. A good leader is fair, honest. A good leader is a good thinker. They have to, a good leader has to understand the value of uh, evaluations and impact and make sure that those tools are put in place so that you can really show that you're doing what you wanted to do. Um, you have to bring people along, you know, they have to be part of a team and they have to know that they're part of a team. And those don't come naturally. Those are formed and they're developed. So everything that we do is a, is a team approach in, in uh, FNEP, SNAP-Ed, or Alpro Health. Huge team approaches. No one person could do it alone. And it's so, it's so neat to, to know how everyone comes together. We talk about uh, what a great team we have and how lucky we are to be part of a team because it's so unusual to have teams that get together like we do. We're hard workers, we evaluate well, and show our successes. So that's, that's fabulous, it really is.